plastic. Yeah. <laughs> but with sweet stuff inside. It's it's a with mm. desserts stuff. inside. So you have a crunchy pastry shell, then you have this almost like cheesecake style filling yeah. in the middle. And it is just it it's heavy. It that is looks absolutely real good. Yeah. I'm sure it helps that she found a good photo, but it looks good. <laughs> yeah, they just look a little better than the one I took a picture of because I was too worried about eating that thing. But then, as a picture, <laughs> well, I made a yeah, dozen see, of them before I, see, I, I see actually got a picture. Of it. That photo was like yeah. a world winning. That photo was so. No. It, it was. It made me salivate, even though I don't like cannolis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I need to and. I don't know if you've watched, since we're on food, um, Leela, and we're yeah. talking, uh, if you've watched the recent podcast, it's actually more of a challenge than actual I have. kind of podcast. And I, I actually uh, commented on it. It was funny. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah I was going to say, you were mentioned in that. I was like, man, I'm glad you didn't participate in that one. So. You know, I was I was watching you and Jane eat it, and I was like, I, I thought that you guys said that it was maybe a little bit less spicy than the Samyang noodles. Yeah, I'm not sure. And here's the thing, the Samyang noodles was a whole bowl, but that spicy, that, that hot sauce was just a spoonful. Mm-hmm. So the proportions are a lot small, so I'm thinking if it's just a spoonful of something that's slightly less spicy, maybe maybe as spicy as those two times harder Samyang noodles, then maybe I could just for one second handle it, maybe. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I may end up having some bowel movement issues, like the <laughs> Sam Young noodles, but I, I'm just, the curiosity is getting the better of me. I really want to try this stuff now. And, and those Cheetos. Now, the Cheetos aren't bad. Um, I can just eat them. They're, they're fine. And you got those from what? Just like the supermarket? Yeah. We, we was able to find them at a... a yeah, I think I... I yeah, I think we both found them at stores. Yeah, I think it was like Kroger's or something like that. I have to go. I, I have to go to a local Kroger and go, go shopping. They're they're not hot. They're really. I mean, I'm not saying that they're hot, but I just think that they might taste good. They are. They're not bad. They're not bad. Of course, I say you that. Made them, made them taste eat. pretty good in the, in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, they weren't bad. I could have. Uh, yeah, I probably could have dipped them into hot sauce. Mm. So right. you said that that hot sauce isn't available in the U.S. So how how do you uh, get it? Um, <laughs> black market. <laughs> I had to go on the dark web. Anyway, you, you had to um, uh, do some legal stuff. <laughs> no, not really. Um, it what happened was there's a person on uh, Food Tribe, and he said that there's a, a a link. He sent it to Jane. She sent it to me, so I could do where you order it because it's only available in Britain and you can't, you you know, so we had to use this special link through Amazon and it allowed us to order it there. So it's still through Amazon. So it ain't nothing shady, but it's just, I guess it's kind of a through our yeah. version of Amazon. It's like an Amazon yeah. dot UK. Yeah. It's like the UK. Yeah. Amazon kind of version. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have to buy it in pounds. So, like that. how did they like ship it to you when they saw that you were obviously not living in the UK? Oh, Amazon. Oh, Amazon handles that. Does Amazon like, just, just like not care what like where you live? Yeah, evidently so. not, because it had the on the box. It showed where it went through the customs and everything to come through, mm-hmm. and it was inspected. And yeah, it was marked, you know, Royal Mail and all that. I mean, it it, it came through. But it did go through customs, both uh, leaving uh, the UK, and then when it got to the United States, it had to check. They done a check on it again, and then it's it hot sauce. Hey, what, yeah. what kind of a bomb are you gonna put in some hot sauce? I mean, come on. The hot sauce itself. Uh, you're, gonna destroy, <laughs> you're gonna destroy the population with that. Yeah. Probably, uh, now think defender. about probably the same type. That is the reason we can't bring water bottles onto planes anymore. Yeah. Right. Now you want a funny backstory to that was, uh, I was talking to John Coleman and I told him, I said, dude, we was able to finally get some, it's on its way type thing. He got to laugh and well, I said it in the podcast. Um, I told John, I said, uh, you know, I sent him a picture of it and I said, it's here. 
And I said, we're recording it tomorrow or something like that. And he goes, Doug, you'll be killed. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. You mentioned that in the podcast. I'm like, yeah, I did. And it was funny, man. I cracked gonna up. You're going to be killed. Like, yeah, he's like, you'll be killed. Well, after it was all said and done, um, I was talking to John before I got the podcast up. And I was telling him, I said, don't worry. We're still alive. Everything's good. <laughs> And he was laughing. I said, honestly, it ain't that hot. And he was like, how's come I have a feeling you and Jane could say, oh, that's not hot, like gurgling lava. Probably inaccurate. I, I have some away. bad, bad respect for you and Jane because, okay, you make that hot sauce sound pretty hot. I mean, I saw the bottle. I saw the, the, the sauce itself. Dick. It's literally called California uh, Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Well, that's not, you know, cool. It's that's pretty hot. Mm-hmm. And you, you well, guys just to... ate those two spoonfuls like it was yeah. nothing. Like, yeah. oh yeah, that's I'll, I'll put this on some wings, on some pork, on some Cheetos. Oh yeah, I was going to like, dip my Cheetos. You, you just <laughs> put that so casual, like, oh, this this stuff is delicious. I'm gonna go make some wings with this, like. Mm-hmm. Do you eat hot sauce like I eat spoonfuls? It's gonna make me shit liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat hot sauce like I eat Pringles? <laughs> <laughs> Pringles are good though. Pringles yeah. are good. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You Especially eat hot, hot sauce, sauce like I eat Lay's sour cream and onion. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, we're trying to, like I said, we're trying to figure out how we're gonna bump that up and decide how. Uh, when? I think the next thing out. is just no. you and Jane. Just, Cutting up each one ghost pepper, just eating the full ghost pepper. Oh, just okay. go, just go on the hot ones already, mate. You've made your point. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. You, you, you flexed long enough. Yeah, when one of these, when either the food trade podcast or this one blows up, Doug's taking his first flight out. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's doing a, uh, he's doing a Hannibal Lecter from the Silence of the Lambs and just leaving. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Ooh, maybe, if, maybe you could be the, the new host. host. Yeah, I wonder if we could do a food try version of Hot Ones. That has to be. Mm. Well, yeah. I tell you what, the buying hot sauces is not cheap because, like, that bottle yeah. is twenty-five dollars a box for a bottle. What? How many oh. ounces? Uh, you've seen the size of the bottle. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe like six, seven. No, it's not very big. Yeah. Not very big. I make a big. Uh, I make a batch of ribs. It's gonna tear it up. So. Mm-hmm. Enemy, well, it went through Royal Mail. It like a five ounce bottle of hot sauce. How yeah. long did it take to arrive there? Because when I use Royal Mail, it's not very fast. Oh, God, it took a couple of weeks to get here. I bet yeah. two and I bet one and a half of those weeks was just in the UK. I think my, that, I my think knowledge is the Royal in a Mail. Rowboat having floated across the ocean with it. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, my knowledge is my no, it probably, it probably sat in a depot for a while. Uh, yeah. Also, it does mean your hot sauce has touched the box on there for value this. <laughs> um, I think it's closer to three weeks, honestly. Mm. It's a long well, time for a five-ounce yeah. bottle of hot sauce. I mean, come well, in. we ordered it. I ordered <clears throat> it. Jane got the link when uh, Ben Casey put the post up about the hot uh, ribs that he ate on Food Tribe. I ordered mine like a I think it was the next day. So if you go back and look at that post, it'll tell you how long it took to get here. Mm-hmm. And I just recorded that Wednesday. Today, Sunday. Yeah. I recorded it Wednesday. Put it up mm. as Saturday, yesterday. I can't yeah. even remember. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's... Mm. That, that, that's a long time for some hot sauce. Mm. Anyway. The things we do for Food Tribe, yeah. Mm. Yeah, the, the uh, dedication just have a shout out to all the people that are so dedicated to food tribe and drive tribe like seriously guys yeah well that's what if you notice i did that in the podcast i i did you know because if for any of y'all who don't know jane is doing a thing if you have a youtube channel uh give her your links and she's doing a shout out and a post uh for all the people on food tribe and drive tribe doesn't matter who have youtube channels to get people to go check them out and you know that's one of the things i emphasized and i'll emphasize it again here if anybody out there watching this if 
it's always easy to talk about having a YouTube channel and it's always easy to give ideas and how things need to go. It's always easy to say, well, you need to be, you know, try it. It's not easy. It yeah. really isn't. It's easy to get on and do something stupid when you don't care if you ever get monetized, you don't care about growth, you don't care. It's easy. It's easy. But mm -hmm. when you are trying to make something and make it work and make it count, it's not mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if you find somebody out there who's doing something and they're a startup and you like what they're doing, you know, that that like button, that that subscription to their channel, ringing the mm -hmm. bell, the whole bit we always talk about at the end of the podcast mm -hmm. is more important than you know. <clears throat> It really is. So, you know, always, if you have a small person you're trying to help, make sure to always help them be there for them, comment, and, you know, because that's how I, that's how they grow. I tried YouTube for two months and then got no growth and then purged the channel and got rid of everything. It's difficult. You spend, what I did, what, 15 minute videos. If you add recording, which would normally take about 20, 25 minutes, and then editing, I'd probably spend an hour and a half doing each 15 minute video. It's just gaming videos, just a small thing. I'm just doing a thing of Let's Play on one of the burnout, not take down, revenge. It just it takes so long to get everything up. I've got one video on my YouTube channel, and I'll probably add to that when I have access to real cars. Yeah. Not that Nissan Juke that just went past. <laughs> <laughs> well it is it is very hard i mean mm. now like doing podcasts even lila will tell you okay you guys know we record you know mini podcasts in one sitting so we might record for three or four hours which if you don't know what it's like to sit in a chair and stare mm. at a screen for like three to four hours yes we talk, talk. Mm. yeah and not only that but you know when people think well it's easy to sit and talk to somebody well, you know, you're thinking of sitting in your living room, maybe on your front porch, talking to your friend or your family. You don't realize there is also times where there's dead time. And during podcasts and, and these kind of conversations, you can't have dead time. You, you have to keep things moving. Yeah. And that is a challenge. Because who wants to sit around looking at people, looking at each other, going, yeah. you know. It's just not professional. Yeah, you, you got to yeah. have a plan of what, you, yeah. what you're going to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, and you gotta and you gotta be able to nail these things. And, and be interesting, and now, be funny. Mm, 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 now, like what I'm doing is simple because I record. Seems like mine go for two hours. It just seems like that's what happens. And I cut the video in half, clean it a little off the front and the back, just to make sure everything lines up and moves very quickly. You know, you got two. Let's say two hours in recording. You got another couple hours in editing, mm. exporting uploading then you gotta write oh god x-boy yeah and then you gotta you gotta do the descriptions and catch yeah. lines and then you gotta know how, the worst thing a lot of people don't realize is you gotta know how to word them catch lines your taglines so they actually flow through the algorithm so you gotta know how to do that and then you gotta you know one of the things i hate the most is linking everything oh, oh my god yeah. oh yeah that's that's why i stopped linking <laughs> I still do it, but my God, like, okay, like when, as an example, when Leela come over and join me and Jane for the challenge, Jane's on Drive Tribe, Food Tribe, she has a YouTube channel as well, so then I had Leela's Drive Tribe, Food Tribe, YouTube channel, then I got my Drive Tribe, Food Tribe, YouTube channel, and then you start adding more people, and you literally have to go in and gather all these links, and then you're, you're going and copying and pasting links over, and, and, you don't learn. It is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. And that, those were a few times where, when I'm like doing doing the links, or when I used to do the links, um, uh, like so for Doug's profile, um, that there's a lot of people on Drive Time that have that, that are named Doug, and then the first and the, the first letter of the last name begins with an F. So when I'm like going into the search engine on Drive Time trying to find Doug's profile. That's kind of difficult because like a million different Doug F's. Um, I have to scroll for hours. So what I do what? is I just go back to the other to the previous video and get the link from there, click on it, copy and paste it, and then mm -hmm. put it into the description of the new video. But mm -hmm. let's say I copy and pasted something else. Let's say an assignment for school or you know just something something else. Maybe something else from Drive Tribe. Or if you know if I don't. If I think I copied and pasted Doug's 
a profile link, but it actually ends up that I didn't, and that the last thing I copied and pasted was that other thing. Um, and then I paste that into the description for, and, call, and put Doug F's profile. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's not actually Doug's profile, then I gotta yeah. like go, oh, whoops, go back, change it, find the actual link to Doug's profile, yeah. put it in. So, like, even like little mistakes like that, that, you know, sometimes and you can I easily didn't like, realize it like until that. a week after, I'm like, oh, dang it, I put the link to that instead of putting the link to whoever's profile. Yeah. You know, and you, you can easily don't yourself. Yeah, go ahead, Damon. Uh, because, um, it, as you said, if, you, if you're listing schools you're applying to, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a very easy way to dox yourself quite quickly. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And that'd be especially dox- bad with the ta- with the usual content on this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Offensive well, stuff about bombs yeah. and it, Hitler, and then what schools people are applying to? Right. And then, Lily, I'm sure you know that when you're when you're also doing those, you look up and you'll have like. 12 tabs opened up on your computer because you got your studio that you're making everything in and then you got like drive tribe then you have food tribe then you have another youtube channel brought up so that way you can find things from there and then it just keeps going and then what do you do you start over you re homepage all those and then put the next person in and you refill all oh my god Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. Tech tip of the week. Huh? Tech tip of the week. Oh, right. Use uh, yeah. Windows 10. So, because YouTube YouTube does allow you to make a like a pre-filled description. I don't know if there's any requirements for that, like as far as like how big you have to be, but they do allow it. However, I wouldn't recommend that for either of you guys because you had different people on every mm-hmm. now and then. I mean, unless you just had your guys' profile, so. With Windows, most Windows 10 PCs, you can. There's a little application called OneNote, and it's basically yeah. just mm-hmm. a note program where you have stuff. What I would do there, like for Idle Banter or your podcast, Doug, is just make your description in that, and then have all your links there, and then just copy and paste it. Ooh, it's called OneNote. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna look at it when I get done. You can make notebooks. You can, you can have your main notebook, like Food Tribe, and then you have like content people I want to do whatever you can really get all yeah. that I, I nice yeah yes that is a pro tip from Cody right there right there yes because I, I had to do that Cody's the, the new uh, resident uh, te- uh, IT guy tech advisor yeah. <laughs> he's our member, he's our member of geek squad yeah, exactly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh so my we- God, guys! What you gotta do is you gotta get to one note, and no, then not you that one. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Oh, so God. see, Lila, we got Cody and we got Ramon. We ought to be good. You know? So <laughs> good to go with two of them. Oh yeah. Right. That sounds good. I'll be fine with helping you guys out with what, whatever your drive, you know, drive tribe or food tribe or YouTube related mm-hmm. stuff is. Mm-hmm. I'm attempting to be good at that for a while, like. YouTube, YouTube allows you to make a custom link on the top, so it'll be like dot, youtube.com forward slash like idle banter or whatever, you, or, food, or fuel injection. You can do that. And with drawback, nice. you need 100 subscribers. There is a good wor- workaround for that. So, Don't have those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or have, or have a friend with many, many accounts. Like my... Exactly. My... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I thought, no, and no, then no, when you're done. Is... Yeah. Undo all those accounts, unsubscribe, and then so at least it's up. But yeah, but one of them. Oh, this is not correlated at all now. No, it, uh, this is my, just a podcast. No, no, no. Of I, I, life. There's a story. It's the life podcast. Yeah, hold it. Hold it. Yeah, hold it. Life yeah. Podcast. yeah but, exactly. Um, I had mess. I had messenger open, and my friend. They were constantly messing around with me and someone else in the call too, and I kept blocking them. So they just kept making new accounts. And then we all got in the group, and then they had a group chat with all the accounts. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I think we had... That sounds eight... like a fat L. <laughs> yeah. There were there was, there was, uh, yeah. six people in this group, but there was about 90 accounts in it. You know what this has become? How to have a podcast, podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go to a podcast. Podcast. 
Thank you, Doug. Just reminded <laughs> me of something I wanted to say earlier. I was going to say, to your point about talking and dead space and whatnot, there's also there's also being relatively articulate. Because no one yeah. wants to listen to a podcast where everyone's going, um, ah, uh, uh, and all that. It, trying to have coherent thoughts in a line, in a row, one after another, without like without stuttering or humming, awing mm-hmm. all the time, is super difficult. Yeah, it's, it not, it's not impossible. There are people that can do it, but it is really yeah. really hard. It's it just takes pop. a long ass time to get that good. You can oh, you yeah, can see yeah. why a lot many of people many an episode. Yeah. yeah, like Donut Media, their podcasts are all mostly scripted with funny bits in between. Yeah, 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 but, exactly. yeah. And that's probably why this goes off non-casting so often. So we're just trying to find something to talk about that sort of links in with what we were saying earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. sometimes not at all. Yeah. You know, just kind of. Yeah, sometimes we just change it up completely. Like we've done today, talking about how to have a podcast. Podcast. Yeah. Yeah, right. And like Cody said, I never realized how much I go um just before I say something or or something until I started doing podcasts, and I was like, oh my gosh, really? You know? And I never really, you know, because when you're just talking to normal, you know, normally in life. You don't really pay attention. You just you're worried about getting your point across. And That's no one cares you know? what you say. Yeah. And, and how, yeah. how you say it. Yeah. And like I try to take my my even my accent out. I try to because otherwise most people probably wouldn't have a clue what I'm talking about. Um. So, well, see, I just wait. Done it so there. this is not your actual accent. This is like a, a well, toned down you know, southern Ohio accent. There, there is other words that I. You know, yeah. Oh, anyway, I try to control. Years. Yeah, I try to control some of it. So you look kind of like Gerald from uh, Clarkson's Farm. <laughs> yeah, we. I actually understand him pretty well. <laughs> 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 you and Gerald, man, you man, you homie. Yeah, I, I almost uh, understand that. That's the bad part. Um, but yeah, you do, and that's something else. And you. When you listen to it, you think I need to change that, and you know, make it more where I don't sound like an idiot, you know, and <laughs> it's just the best way to go. Yeah. And you get used to listening to yourself, and that's one of the hardest things, honestly, is watching yourself. And yeah. there's a lot of people Through who editing. do podcasts, yeah. and they never watch their own podcast because they said they hate listening and watching. I do it all the time. Yes, it is. It's it's very hard to it's do. Painful. It's hurtful. It's painful. It, it 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 puts yeah. a knife into your soul. And it really I don't does. know if this is true for any any of you guys, but when I watch my own podcast and I'm listening to myself talk, like when I'm listening to myself talk now, my voice sounds a certain way. And then when I listen to myself talk on a podcast that I've uploaded or that I'm editing. My voice sounds completely different, so it's like I have two <laughs> different. It's whack. I don't know if it happens to you uh, guys, but it had. Yeah. I'm like, wait, why do I, why do I sound different now than I did oh. when I was just talking on, on the podcast a few days ago? Yeah, you're yeah. Asking, right. Because I, when I do my podcast, because like to, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it today, but normally what I do is I record the podcast with you guys, the uh, fuel injection, and then I'll turn around and I'll do my podcast straight after. Normally I'm awake and whatever, because that has a great effect on. On uh, productivity, <laughs> not not quite that. I mean, it can, but um, and when I listen to myself occasionally, I know I know when when I haven't had enough water because my voice sounds higher when I'm listening back to myself. It's really annoying. So you sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's not no. it's not that bad, but it's really annoying. I'm like, oh, I need to I need to get one of these down it very fast. Apparently. I don't know if this is true for everyone, but for men, if you if you're hydrated, your voice can sound 15% deeper. Do like that. Oh. And I know immediately when it's the opposite of that. When my mouth is dry, my throat is trying to cry, it's trying to close up, and I'm still recording a podcast, and my lips are dry. Right. Yeah. So, so a drink of water either goes from Mickey Mouse or Barry White. Which one? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> See, but I can't sing. Well, I refuse. I can't either, my boy. <laughs> no one can. So I need a bigger water bottle then. How big is this one? I gotta show the gallons. Let's make it 42 ounces. Right. Yeah. right. yeah okay, exactly. okay, I've got 500 milliliters, which I have no idea how to convert that into ounces. Uh, my, that's, 
18 or because I've, I've got this one and it's got milliliter and ounces on it so ah. i right. drink almost yeah. half of it yeah. i uh i recorded one for john battersby and we was talking about that he said you know how bad i actually sound and i said dude you don't have a clue i mean have you not watched my podcast <laughs> and we had this thing because i'm like i got look i got a face for radio and a voice for silent movies i'm telling you look it it's, you'll be fine you'll be fine <laughs> and it, it is it, it is a very self-conscious thing to watch yourself like that. and then yeah. know you're putting it on you know the the web or if yeah. you're trying to yeah and then you, you you try to um you try to find all the little things that you don't like about how you act, how, how you talk. I uh, yeah. try to OCD, you get into that OCD thing of trying to fix everything. It's like, yeah. I don't mm. like this. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. One, one of the things yeah. we want to move on. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, one of the things I learned when I was going back in editing is that I'm not sure if this was a lack of water thing, but I had a tendency to smack my lips a lot right before I say so. Oh, no. Yeah. Bad. You just hear the, and then I was like, God like, oh, dang yeah. it. So now, yeah. now I try to not like close my lips and then just open the bar doors as soon as I'm about to talk. I just try to <laughs> uh, a little bit more smooth. Yeah, yeah. 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 All, all those little things because I'm I'm a bit of a believer in that no one's gonna be harsher on you than you are on yourself. Exactly. And that might be part of the problem yeah. with going back and listening to yourself. Is that you're, you're what you're effectively doing is ruining your self-esteem every time you go back to listen to yourself mm. on video or on audio it's like you're just finding all the yeah. little mm. okay. yeah all you're being a little ocd that you mm. want to change yeah 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 because uh, I, I have watched some of mine back and i sit there and stare at myself going what am i looking at because it, it looks like i'm like yeah. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Like, yeah. you know, I'm like, oh. yeah. Or I just, you know, I catch myself like, oh. It, now yeah. those are over exaggerated, but you, 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 when you are watching it, you're like, what am I do? What was there something going on? You know. Is that uh, that ten year old ghost boy just looking? Yeah. At you? <laughs>